Turkey and not China will cause the third world war and Erdogan needs to be ousted in order to avert it. Erdogan is going haywire, picking fights with anyone and everyone. Turkey is stirring up a perfect storm and as things stand, it is quite obvious that Turkey and not China will cause the third world war unless Erdogan is ousted in time. In contrast to Turkey, China has been very tactical in choosing the scale and situation of confrontation and backs down when it realizes that the situation may go out of control. They have done it in the Himalayas with India, the South China Sea with ASEAN neighbors and the East China Sea with Japan. The Turkish high command is raking up so many disputes, igniting all the crevices in Asia Minor and West Asia simultaneously. It is engaged in Libya, Eastern Mediterranean Sea, the Caucasus region where the Azerbaijan and Armenia conflict has taken more than 200 lives and of course Syria. Turkey is fighting several powers including France, Greece, the UAE and Russia and is also locked in heated diplomatic fights with Israel and Saudi Arabia. The conversion of the Hagia Sophia into a mosque has also rubbed the entire Christian world the wrong way. In history, it is either one unfortunate incident or an unrestrained power that has caused the world wars. And the way Ankara is acting right now, shutting any scope for diplomacy and brewing the worst blend of conflicts, it is a highly belligerent Turkey under President Erdogan that could cause serious trouble to the world. Ankara's Eastern Mediterranean struggle showcases its ambitions to reassert its dominance on Greece and the Balkan region in general. Contrary to its aims, it was able to successfully antagonize France and irk the USA as well. It has also been involved with the UAE, France and Russia in the power struggle of different factions in Libya, where the Turkey-backed faction is at the losing end. The situation in the Caucasus, which as per French President Emmanuel Macron is a creation of Turkey because of its total support to Azerbaijan, has shunned any possibility of an early armistice. Here too, we can see that the situation is escalating and the matter may demand direct involvement of the US or Russia to douse the fire. If we talk about the situation in Syria, Turkey is consistently mobilizing its troops at the border and its proxies in Syria to confront and demolish any Kurdish united front and it is getting into a direct confrontation with Russia. In fact, Turkey is locked in a proxy battle with Russia on three fronts, Libya, Syria and Nagorno-Karabakh. Turkey is also a safe haven for Hamas, the Islamist extremist section of the Palestinian cause which controls the Gaza Strip. Turkey is contributing its utmost to keep the region destabilized. Currently, it is hosting meetings of top Palestinian leaders, thereby paving way for a Turkish-controlled Palestinian elections. Erdogan has been dreaming of becoming the new Khalifa and reviving the Ottoman Empire. And it has been at loggerheads with Saudi Arabia by trying to replace the Saudis as leader of the Muslim Ummah. However, Erdogan has shown to the Ummah that he has been hypocritically wrong on the Abraham Accords. He says the Gulf countries, UAE and Bahrain have betrayed the Palestine cause by signing the Accords. But Turkey itself has had diplomatic ties with Israel which go way back. The way in which Erdogan is acting is a telltale sign of a person with impractical ambitions. He is most likely to plunge the region into a regional conflict which in no time will spiral into an all-out war. Just as the Ottomans lost in the First World War owing to their fanatical decisions and genocidal tendencies, case in point being the Armenian Genocide, Turkey seems to be repeating its First World War follies and with Erdogan at hem of affairs, it is very pertinent that it will lose quite miserably. But at what cost? 
Ankara is likely to push the world into a major conflict that could result in loss of human lives apart from economic devastation. Thus, the cost to benefit analysis says the situation will be bad on all metrics for Turkey. All of humanity will lose and to save the world from this probable destiny, Erdogan needs to return to his senses or just lose power. It becomes the duty of the whole world to come together against Erdogan and against his actions of turning Turkey into a belligerent theocracy.